today I got my camera out. I know you guys have been asking for that. Um, I'm sorry that I don't use it all the time. It's just, it is a hassle getting it out, putting it together, putting the SD card in it and all that stuff, and then putting it all on my phone, which, you know, I do have an SD card reader that I could do that with, but it doesn't do it uh, very good or accurately. Well, today we're looking at a Pro Mac 1010 uh, by McCulloch. I love this saw. The power to weight ratio is great. Um, when you lay this thing in wood and cut with it, it just eats. Um, this thing was introduced in 1977 and went out in 83. Um, 53 cc's. The, um, like the bar specs is from like 16 to 28, but I don't think I'd put a 28 inch on this bar. Unless you're one of those guys that don't want to bend over. I mean, you know, Bucking don't bend over at all. He just, you know, <laughs> gets it done. Um, the air filter systems on these are great. You can get aftermarket ones on eBay for like six or seven bucks. But sometimes you'll find them in like a two, two pack or a five pack. I've seen a 10 pack where you can buy them for like um, $25 or something like that. Um, mine has an original McCulloch air filter in it. Uh, I have sprayed it with uh, stir fluid just to get all the grime and stuff off of it. I know that's a bad thing, so please hold your comments on that. I know that's a no-no. That's a bad. That's bad. I've seen people spray gas on them to get the grime off of them, then they take air compressor and blow it off. But I, I don't use my saws all the time, so I don't see nothing wrong with just airing it off you know what I mean but to the guys out there that would use these day in and day out just buy you a couple filters that'll it'll save you in the long run um, this thing is a heavy beast at it's at 15 pounds like 15 point something you throw a bar and chain on this thing you're probably looking at 20 pounds um, comparing this to a modern day saw um, this thing will wear you out if you <laughs> if you work this thing all day. I know it worked me, um, but I love this saw. It it does the job real good. It oils like it should. It runs. It cranks on the first try. But I haven't started this saw in probably two or three weeks. Um, one thing I really do like about it, it's it's a reliable saw. Now I know why a lot of people love this saw, and it's just it's a beast uh what kind of what more could i say good about this saw one thing i really don't like about it after using it for a very long time it's just heavy on your on your arms <laughs> um i have um dogs off of a uh, power max 16. i didn't know that until after i bought them so you know i know people are gonna be like well, where'd you get them from ebay um you can tell believe me the bottom hole right down in here on the bottom doesn't match up with the bottom hole right there where my hand is uh, but it does sit flat on the um, the bench it's not gonna sit and tilt or anything like that it doesn't it doesn't move unless you push the bar down like that um, this saw has a great aftermarket support for it other than like getting pistons and cylinders and stuff like that I don't think you're gonna find um, aftermarket cylinders and pistons now as far as like maintenance and stuff like that goes you can get air filter spark plugs you can even get gas tank gaskets and you can get um the pull cord um any kind of electrical stuff i think you can get it aftermarket but ebay is a big place to find a lot of parts for the saw which is uh you know they're, they're cheap which is uh, great considering, you know, if you're one of those guys that use a saw every day, it's awesome. <laughs> Mine's got a cushion handle on it, and it um, it has the um, the um, the gas cap that tells you the oil mix ratio. Um, it tells you that it's gas, and it doesn't say you know it's not oil. 
Um, but you know, if you're new to these saws, it's plain and simple to the point. I know a lot of people ask questions about older saws, um, but you know, I like older saws because they're reliable. You know, they could be sitting for 30 years. You pour gas down the uh, carburetor, fires right up. It may have like issues with the gas lines and stuff like that. All you do is change them out. Um, it's easy to do on these saws. It's really easy to do on the gas on the gas lines and stuff like that. Um, as far as like working on the um, other things, just got to get tools out, man, and go at it. <laughs> but this is my review of the Pro Mac 1010. And until the next video, you guys have a wonderful day.